Good morning, everyone. It's Nathan Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, I wanted to bring up something that I wouldn't normally, but I heard about it this morning on the radio, and many of you have probably come across the information about uh, what happened between Will Smith and Chris Rock. And it's very interesting to me because I definitely speak about anger and frustration and emotions and actions and behaviors and words and all of those things with clients regularly and of course with uh, friends and family too. But I thought today I'd share a couple of quotes that I came across and a few thoughts that I've been having this past week to, uh, to hopefully get you to think in a different way too. So the first quotation I wanted to share is by Guy Finley and this quotation says, you don't need strength to let go of something. What you really need is understanding. You don't need strength to let go of something. What you really need is understanding. So when I look at this experience between Will Smith and Chris Rock, we can see that there's probably some length of time of some communication between the two that has led to this moment. Of course, there would be communication between Will and his wife and his wife and Chris or all of those things, spoken, unspoken, understood by some, right? And none of us will really understand that whole picture, although I'm sure media is going to be all over this to find as much uh, detail as they can. And I'm sure the media will be filled with all of this on uh, YouTube or news or whatever. But today I'd love for us to think in a slightly different way from understanding. So partly I've already mentioned, and I want to mention that uh, I can say that this sort of idea has been on my mind at least for the past week, maybe longer. So my latest newsletter was about new, uh, forgiveness. It's, uh, it was about forgiveness. And when I think about this, forgiveness has been on my mind for some length of time. And I have to share with you that um, I've had some very interesting meditative experiences and contemplative time this past week. And I can say that uh, this is personal, but I will tell you that my own birth father was a very uh, aggressive, angry man. And I can say that I've seen and heard and luckily not experienced personally um, physical abuse, but certainly have heard and certainly have heard uh, the voice of aggression. I've certainly felt the feelings of anger around. And it's so interesting. I do think that that's actually encouraged my life in the direction that it's gone. Yet, when I saw that video clip of Will Smith, I have to tell you that I felt the exact same energy, that helpless energy, that hurt energy that a child would feel when you see this happening in your family. So in that experience, It's a very interesting awareness that I came across. And so the week's meditation has been very useful for me to understand that I have been coming from a place of understanding. So even in seeing this action, I've heard about people saying that Will should lose his award. And I think that's ridiculous. But at the same time, I do think that there's healing to be done. And we all have healing, right? So if we can think about the fact that we all have healing, my meditative time this past week allowed me to see things in a very different way than what I grew up with. Because what I grew up with was a sadness and a fear that came from those experiences. And I can tell you that uh, I can definitely be self-protective. I can definitely speak because I have seen experiences where someone could not speak to defend themselves. And I certainly know that uh, the emotion that's really felt, but I will also say that I pull away. So I know, or I can push someone away if I'm hurt. And it's so interesting. This could be a mental, emotional, or physical experience that anyone can go through. So you probably know someone who is angry around you, And I have to tell you that the first feeling that I felt when I saw this video was compassion towards Will from not knowing what he's going through. And the fact, and I suspect many of us might feel this way, is this is now something he has to carry. So coming back to my experience of meditation this past week, I had a connection with my birth father. My birth father has passed away. 
But I can tell you that I didn't see him for many years, and that was after my parents' divorce, which happened in my early teens. So it's not like I was an infant. But at the same time, this was the first time that I was just listening. And what I heard was this space of pain for him. And it suddenly was a wave of compassion that came through me about never wanting to understand before this time. And, you know, we all get to the places of healing that we need to or choose to in the right time for us and with that intention to do so. But boy, I found myself asking for forgiveness from him, which is so interesting. It's such a different space for me to be in where I thought, wow, for so much time, I have felt like, oh my goodness, he created so much distress in my home or the family home. And yet in this time, all I could feel was compassion for what he carried for the rest of his life through his experiences and his behavior. So today I would love for you to sit for five minutes and think about when we are experiencing something. And I can say that you might know that not speaking is the strongest form of control talk. So in communication, if someone is just not speaking at all, that's also a strong aggressive energy just silently, right? And people feel it. So when you love someone who is being silent with you, giving you the silent treatment, it's not comfortable. And this is an important thing for us all to understand about ourselves and what we do too, right? So for five minutes after this video, I'd love for you to sit and think, have you ever been outwardly aggressive verbally uh, in your thoughts or uh, the things that you share with people or in actions? And have you ever perhaps given someone the silent treatment? So either of those experiences is a similar not good energy. And you know, a lot of people will say that the abuse that happens physically can heal. The abuse that happens on a psychological level takes a little bit longer. And it does. And I can say that again, for me to come to this space last week after so many years of understanding and forgiving, but today's forgiving for me comes from a very different space. And I hope that all of you listening today might think of forgiving from a different space, yourself and others. And then of course, mindfully modifying your actions and your experience. And I thought I would end today with this quotation, which is by William Arthur Ward. And it says, forgiveness is a funny thing. It warms the heart and cools the skin. Forgiveness is a funny thing. It warms the heart and cools the sting. And it does. It really does. And to get to that space, I wish that for all of us. And I wish you have a fantastic day ahead. And I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.